Welcome to the seventh uh, lesson of this project. We'll be finishing up the modeling and texturing of the final model where I'll show you techniques on continuing to model our pieces and then um, extra texturing uh, maps that we're going to make and then we'll get the final model ready for uh, export. Okay, so um, the part we're going to be building now is this fox sign here. Um, it's got this bottom part and then this top part. Um, so in 3ds Max here, I've kind of already built these objects. Um, here's a closer look at what we'll be uh, concentrating on. is basically this sign down here, this big huge uh, fox uh, symbol sign here, um, these uh, objects here, th these uh, animals. Um, we're doing this uh, neon sign here, Detroit's Finest Entertainment and this Fox logo here and so kinda how I started out here is um, um, basically uh, I lined up my reference these are two planes with references on them um, basically what I did was uh, if I go back to here and open this one uh, I took one of my images here and then uh, I think this one and I took it and I cropped it like we did before and then made it into a flat plane then I just opened that in Photoshop and with the image size and copied over the size 3000 by 2021 20, I took it and uh, here and uh, imported those uh, made a box and then made the length 2021 20, 20, 21, 21 and the width 3000 and then dragged in that photo reference there basically I'm gonna um, show you how I did this here. Now this uh, text here is only 115 polys and how I got it that low was I um, took our reference and basically I, I took the uh, line tool, shapes line and I just made these lines by just dragging and clicking and then making each letter uh, some letters interconnected like this E and T um, and then what I did was I just um, took and I attached them all so they're all one piece and I'll just do the, the, the D E T for right now because um, the rest of it's just the line work um, I'll just do it on these three letters so I just took each one of these uh, points and this is sculpted it by the letter um, so that it would match up um, and we kind of went over how to do this in our previous tutorials so I'm going to show you what I did for uh, um, as far as making this very low poly um, so basically I took our lines uh, I attached them all together so that they're one piece. See, they're not connecting here, they're just one piece though. Um, and then I, I went to uh, extrude. And then I went to my front view. And we can kind of see extruded it, but it only extruded the outside edges. So I don't want that. I want to have the edge facing the camera. Okay, I went to extrude. Right now we're only at 15 polys. And then I went to uh, the lattice. And I grabbed these two back points and then I moved them forward, or I moved them over so that in our front view the text will still show up. See, this is what it was before, this is what it is now, and it's still only 15 polys. So our total um, text here from what we did uh, is only 115 polys, as you can see up, up here. Um, and it's a edit patch. Maybe oh, that'd be another way to go is to actually go to uh, edit patch, and then grab the the half of the vertex from the left view, and that would be another way to do it. Is going just to edit patch and then moving the the back ones left, and that'll give the same result. So a quick and easy way to make some script text with very low poly count. Uh, because it's just going to be a solid color glowing, so I don't really need to 
go further than just this here. Okay, so that covers the text. Um, I kind of covered this already. Um, this is basically just, if I turn off the edges, a cylinder cut into pieces. And then I, um, it still needs a little work to touch up the texture and stuff, but um, basically it's all there, but it's just uh, um, the, I'll turn on the uh, wireframe here and kind of show you. I just took these uh, edges that I made from before and I just grabbed them and um, their points or the edge and I just took them and uh, scaled them uniformly for this part here and then for the top part I scaled it down um, while by using the reference which was uh, right here. I just grab my, my cylinder and then just use the reference to, to make it here. So I think the next thing that I did was uh, this big piece right here, this pink thing here. Um, basically I just created a torus and made it about what it would really be, which is kind of like this, kind of matches that. But then to get this shape here, I did a, uh, um, a lattice, a 4x4x4. Four by four by four. And then I just grabbed these control points and uh, scaled them in. I scaled the bottom in. And then I scaled these two middle ones out. And then I also pulled down the bottom ones. And that kind of gave me my, my basic shape. And then I went to uh, Edit Poly. And I took my select tool holding control on on the first one and then shift which will give you the uh, entire line then I hold down control on this one and then shift here and then I did just every other um, and I basically just did a uh, extrude but instead of doing it um, uh, just the regular way I just did a regular extrude and then I did it instead of by poly, I did it by normal, and that creates this kind of uh, effect here. Doesn't need to be that much, maybe dial it down to that. And in the actual one, um, these were a lot thinner. So uh, then I came over and I did the, uh, the lion here. If you go to the front view, I can show you how I did that. Um, basically, uh, Here's my final one. All it is is uh, an extrusion, a flat plane. So I went to my front view and basically what I did was I just went to create shapes line and I just created, I just uh, did some more line work and created the uh, shape for the uh, leg here. And I'll just do it really quickly here to just kind of show you what I did. I got the main body, and of course I'd be, you know, really doing this uh, um, carefully if I was if I was just uh, doing it for real. But right here I'm just kind of showing you what I did, uh, and I, I skipped this arm here, or this uh, leg here, and why I did that was because it's a different um, it's a different um, yes for that to close it. Um, it's for depth. As you can see, like this leg here is behind this main body. This is like in the middle of the body. The tail goes above the body. So what I did was I created a new shape, and this one will actually be the same thickness as our as our final one, but it'll actually be, be behind this main body. And so I kind of did that with all these shapes here. The tail. Um, and the other leg and then the um, other part of the tail and so then moving my reference away this is what I had and I just went to uh, um, extrude and then basically just extruded it or no no I went to uh, edit poly and then that created my faces and then I selected all my faces and then I did the extrude I think I did about 50 centimeters. 
Okay, so I got that, and then I took this leg uh, that's actually going behind the back leg from the right side, and I took it and I just moved it back. See so now, so we get that illusion of depth here, and then I, I moved the tail forward. Um, so now we kind of have this main piece and then this piece behind it, and that ended up looking like this. Um, after I did the, the wing and everything and the other paw, the other leg. Um, um, and so that's how I did that. Okay, and then I moved on to the main focus, which is the, the Fox logo and its, its main um, well-known sign. So to do the text here, um, let's see if I can go to the front view. And then if we can grab our, I use this reference here. And basically I use the line tool again. I just put the shapes and then line. And I took, I hold shift and then drag down. That gives you a straight line. And I just uh, um, made this from the, the outside of this red, uh, red neon sign. I did the whole outside for the circle. For the O, I just did a circle. And then uh, I copied that, and I uh, um, scaled it out. And then for the inside, I uh, copied it. And then I scaled it from the left, and I scaled it from the right, or from the bottom. And then I kind of moved it in place. But see, it's not really too, it's not really where I want it to be, because uh, this should be up more. So I just took each point and selecting that these two points on this end and then these two points this is just outlined using the red as a guide um, I just grabbed these uh, corners uh, with two points each and that gave me actually let's fix this one um, it should be a little bit more to the right we don't want we only want the points these two so that gave me the outline, and then I just did the same thing. I just grabbed both lines and did a uh, edit poly, and then that gave me um, these two shapes here. And I basically just did a um, I did the same thing for all the other letters. And I just did a extrude, and then I moved this one extrusion after I select it as a uh, solid and I moved it um, moved it through this one so then I uh, took this one and extruded it okay and then I just went to collapse all and so then I took this one after I collapsed it and scaled it by the uh, Y backing to this and you have to cap it by clicking on cap holes and I took the, the other piece here and did the same thing just went to the uh, border this selects the whole entire border if it's connected and I just went to cap and now um, I collapsed them and now I took our, our I copied this I moved it over I deleted the faces that I don't need, and then we uh, then we picked um, so from right here I went to boolean and then picked the the middle one that that cut it out. And I just like to do an edit poly and then so I can collapse it. And basically I just took this and from our old piece or from our old line and snapped it. Um, snapped it to the back of uh, this piece here and then I just scaled this down to about where I needed it and then you can, you can always just put this, this back in the back here so that's how I did my letters doing the same thing for the, the O and then the X see it's just compo composed of uh, outside and then the, the flat plane 
Okay, and then for uh, this main sign here, um, basically, uh, first thing I did is I took this here, this shape, I copied it over, and then uh, I scaled it. And I basically just took the, the bottom verts, bottom points, and dragged it down. And I just scaled it some more as a whole. And then you can kind of see in the picture, it's kind of uh, on an angle. So I rotated it 30 degrees, or negative 30, and that put it on an angle. And then I just, if you can see it up here, if I just snap it to our final one, um, you can kind of see what I did here. It's the same piece, really, and then, but I just uh, extended it down. And then for the other one, I just copied it and then mirrored it. And then I just moved it over into place. So I pretty much took care of that. And then for the letters, um, I took my same letters here and I copied them by dragging, holding shift. And basically, I, I rotated those 30 degrees so that they match. And then I moved them uh, up into place. But you kind of got to be careful because it's at 30 degrees still. So if you put it in front. Like so. And then I took the, the O and the X. Kind of same thing. X, I just moved it to the same uh, position. So first I moved it to the plane. So right now the plane's a little bit. Uh, outside so if I just move this in and then I move the text uh, down kind of into place and right now they don't fit right but um, what I did was I used our lattice tool again which is if you go to the modifier list and then go on to uh, FFD 4 times 4 times 4 that'll give you 4 points times on the on the vertical and the horizontal um, so basically I took that and I just dragged these down, which extended my F down, and then I uh, collapsed them, and I just went to Edit Poly, and I did Extrude Edit Poly, and then I just moved, or actually no, I took all of these ones here that were going for this small uh, thing here, and I just scaled them. I scaled them uniformly by the Z axis. And only the z-axis and that gave me my uh, letter and then I just moved the rest of this down same thing with the other letters um, of course this F is, is pretty big right now so I kinda didn't need to put it all the way down here but you can just easily fix that moving it up and same thing for the O and then the X and that's about how I did it um, and then the only thing left was this uh, this round piece here with these uh, loops on them. Um, that was pretty much a cylinder. And then um, this I just made a cylinder from the top view. Um, and making that, I took our reference in the front view, put it right here. I moved the pivot point. Actually, I made an edible poly first, and then I moved the pivot point down to the bottom, which it's already at. And I just turned off snap and then scaled this up. And just using this as a reference, scaled it up to about there. And then, uh, you know, I just took our edge and made a few uh, segments I just took my vert vertex tool here and preserve UVs you don't have to because we're going to UV it later but I did anyway and then uh, basically moving these down and then what I did was I put my uh, invisible material on it so I could see the background but still see our lines um, because they're, uh, if you click on this, it'll make the lines darker. And the opacity on this material is zero. 
So it's the same as zero as this, it's just I moved the opacity down to zero. So we can see through it. And then I just took um, the polygons on the top and I extruded them. But I did it by the uh, by the group, I think it was. No, it must have been by the normal. And basically just scale it down to to what it would be. And then I took the vertex and scaled them uniformly to kind of make that point at the top. And then I just took uh, more cylinders um, that are more low poly. And I added, if I, I'll show you a little bit more in the 3D view. Um, these are separate cylinder pieces. Um, I didn't cut the holes in them because that's just to make extra, extra polys that we don't need. Um, so these are eight-sided, and I just created one, and I just copied them all down. Um, and that will create our uh, our neon cylinders here when we turn them into neon. And so that's about it for the modeling. Um, I'm going to stop this tutorial, and then we'll texture it. And this is going to be a brand new texture, most of the stuff on here, except for this post here. Um, so I'll show you how I'm going to lay that out and how it's going to glow and how everything's going to work.